Like this weekend, grab your dog and head to the Country Club Plaza for Dog and Jog. It's an annual event for the Humane Society of Greater Kansas City. Casey Waugh and Ashley Rowell are here with us along with Chico and Leonardo. We had a discussion whether Leonardo is named after the artist or the Ninja Turtle. And Ninja we decided Tur Ninja Turtle. Ninja Turtle. All right, so tell us a little bit about Chico and Leonardo here. All right, well, Chico is nine years old and he was brought to us after his person was became homeless and he's got an enlarged heart and he would really do well in a home with someone who can really pay attention to him and be at home all the time. Now with an enlarged heart does that require any specific medical attention? Um, it doesn't he just can't have any major surgeries. Okay there so. you go so good to know but as far as daily care it's kind of the same thing. Yeah he's just fine he's just a little bit more to love. I think they're both a little <laughs> bit nervous here you guys had to dash through some rain I yes, guess to get did. into yeah. our building. Right. So Leonardo is shaking just a little but very very sweet and very <laughs> calm just sitting here tell me about Leonardo. Well Leonardo is a four-year-old Min Pin and he was a stray who was found bleeding actually and so we don't know why we don't know what happened don't know the background story um, we're giving him vitamin K right now just to kind of help regulate things mm -hmm. and then um, he's going to be neutered next week and will be up for adoption. Okay well he is very sweet. He is. They both are. Yeah both, both of are. them are very sweet. So of course these the, these are perfect examples of why we're here yes. for Dog and Jog and yes. why the Humane Society of Kansas mm -hmm. City needs people to come out and support what is Dog and Jog coming up this weekend? <laughs> well, Dog and Jog is uh, one of our big fundraisers throughout the year. It's something held down here on the Country Club Plaza. It's this Sunday, June 9th, from 7 to 10.30 in the morning. And you can either walk or run, whichever you choose. Um, we also have a little entertainment section going on with sponsor booths, an agility run, raffle, music, lots of good stuff. And you also have pets there, too, oh, so yes. if someone is interested. We have several of our Shelter's Humane Society pets that are up for adoption. So you can go to dogandjog.org to get registered and find out more information. What's the registration fee? It's $25 in advance or $35 morning of. Okay, and so you can register in advance online? Online, mm -hmm. and if you have any questions, you can always call the shelter and we can take care of you that way too. And you guys, this is getting into your busy season. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> but it's so much fun and we want to find homes for all these guys. Absolutely, I hear lots of puppies and kittens, especially kittens right yes, now. We're yeah. definitely overwhelmed and it is kitten season. Yeah. And all the money for this fundraiser and all of our others go to all animals, not just the dogs. Sure, so if you're sure. a cat lover, don't think we're playing <laughs> favorites this Sunday. Yeah, definitely you're going to support the Humane Society yes. as a whole and, and the need, that's so great here in our community. So definitely if you have a dog, even if you don't, head on out. It's mm -hmm. so much fun. I've been there once. It's a whole lot of fun. It is coming up on Sunday, 7 a.m. to 10.30 on the Country Club Plaza. Dogandjog.org. Again, $25, $25 in advance yes. mm -hmm. and $30. $35. $35 morning. the morning up. So there you go. Have a lot of fun out there on June 9th.